This is part two of the last video regarding the Silicon Valley demos. One of the things that a lot of people asked me after the demo was to show them how to use the construction photos in an app because we don't actually have a Power Apps drop down up here to enable you to build apps from libraries. So they wanted to know how could they quickly do something using Power Apps on this. And I'm just gonna show you that real quick. So I'm going to highlight the site uh, name, just the site itself, and copy that. Then I'm gonna go into Power Apps and click on Start from Data. Now, from Start to Data, I'm gonna create a Canvas app on the phone. And of course, when you create a Canvas app with a phone format, you can always swap it over to Landscape or use the GitHub utility to swap it to a uh, tablet or desktop format. So I'm going to choose SharePoint because the construction photo library is on SharePoint. And then I'm gonna paste that link we just copied into this box and I'm gonna hit go. All right, now all the way on the bottom of this, <clears throat> I'm gonna paste the name, well, I'm gonna type the name of the library. It must be typed exactly as it is on SharePoint. And on SharePoint, this is called construction photos. And what you want there is the display name, okay? In this case, it's not the internal name, it's the display name that you want. And then click connect. Now, what this will do is very similar to what you get when you run a three screen app from a list. Um, you'll get, and my kitty's eating, excuse her for eating in the middle of my video, but um, you'll get your basic three screen app, which is a browse screen or a list of all the items, a detailed screen, which gives you all the properties of that item that you selected on the previous screen, and then an edit form. So you'll definitely wanna edit this to match what you want, but um, most likely you'll wanna theme it. You know, you'll give it a theme. You might wanna format these uh, with a more of a focus on the image. Let me just show you how I might do that. So I'm gonna hit edit, and I'm gonna make this a little bit taller because I'm gonna make each row for the picture. Then I'm gonna um, change my layout here to include a picture. So image, title, and subtitle works out really well. And now the picture itself, oh, I'm sorry, I have to recreate my um, row height. I'm just gonna make the picture take up the whole row and set the format or the position of the image to fill. All right, so that it fills that whole row space. As far as the picture itself, what's important here is that you only leverage thumbnails. If you want this to work on every device really nicely, use the thumbnails. So I'm just going to do this item dot thumbnail. And then dot, you actually have three choices for the thumbnails, large, medium, or small. I'm gonna pick medium in this case, that's more than good enough and bam you've got your images i'm going to use my reorder to send them to the back of this row and then my subtitle and my title i'm going to resize looks like we lost some sizing here that is actually the id number which is okay to keep there that's fine i may use it later and the title same thing it got somehow it got resized and I'm going to center that, make it white. I could give it like a shaded fill, like, you know, maybe do a, a, a black fill or something. Let's see, how about we shade that fill, right? So color fade. Um, black. See, how about something like that? What does that look like? Not too bad. So it's, you know, all of this is aesthetics. You may want to work with this on your own. Decide how much space you want this to take up. 
Maybe I'll align the center. Um, I think that's good enough. Uh, is there anything else I want to do here? I don't think so. Maybe auto height, depending on the size of the picture. I'm going to move this guy up and over. So now you just have, you can see, if you, if you run this app, you can see every picture in your library. I don't know, I think small images might have done just as well. Let's see what the small does. Uh, kind of looks pixelated, right? Large looks best in this particular case. And I'm going to actually put an on select on this that will open it in the browser. So what I'm going to do is use my launch function. And inside the launch function, I want this item dot link to item. This way, when I run this, whether I'm running it on my phone or I'm running it in the browser, when I click on the image, it will open up the whole image in the browser. And the browser can handle those large image, image sizes much better than Power Apps can right now. So give that a try. All right, that's all I really wanted to show you. A lot of people wanted to know how to do that. You know, um, basically you can do it just like you do it at list. You just have to start from data to do it. And then you'll edit your screens uh, any way you'd like. Um, that's it for today. Part three coming up next week where you'll see the app that I built for potential change orders. Um, okay, looking forward to talking to you soon and enjoy your Power Platform experience.